All right, welcome to the last day of Ether Raids for Chaos Season. We're taking on Ho 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 Mon. For my Man, I, I, I really can't. Like, how, what, why? Can't you just be called like Luke? Like, come on, why? <laughs> All right, so uh, we got a cab line here. Um, basically, we're gonna take on pretty much Brave Self here uh, because you won't be able to outspeed Fjord. And um, yeah, we should be able to get out of it from here. Uh, we want to get the bonus kill with uh, this flame here. It was actually not a bad unit, um, but I just don't know. I mean, as far as healers go, she's not the best. In terms of like the modern healers, like Fallen Maria here, there's no reason why I'd use flame or this new flame over Fallen Maria. She's just here because she's bonus. So uh, hopefully I can get a kill with her. Uh, we'll see what happens, but uh, yeah, we're gonna um, bait on this side here. We're gonna take out Sylph, uh, which is a weakness um, on this defense. I'd probably go for a different range unit, but it's really based on what you have in your barracks that's invested, I guess. Um, because a, a lot of units are gonna outspeed the Sylph. He's um, oh, not the fastest these days. And we got the new peony here. Sense. She's doing the peony thing, which is gonna add a ton mm -hmm. of speed. Uh, of course, and um, yeah, we're just going to chill in the corner here yes. um, and see how this pans out. Uh, Embla won't be a problem in terms of the unity or the feud effects because I'm not really going to be taking um, much damage with Yorm here because of the unity plus the uh, debuffs from Yoon. So yeah, my stats are like pretty much through the roof here, so... Hmm. Yeah. Yep. About what I expected. She's not meeting the speed check, so really not much you can do here. Seleph is gonna die. Plus 45 speed, my god. And... Maybe I should have just went up a little bit further so that I could have left Yoon for last, but I have no idea which one of these traps oh, are real. No. Uh, the, position is, the positioning is so uh, weird, uh, so there's really no way for me to tell. Um, I'd like to get the kill on that Embla with Flane, but this isn't set up for me to really My do goodness. that. Uh, I mean, I do have the dance from Peony, but I do want to, I don't know, let's see here. Alright, so I've decided to use the dance just to do a damage check. Um, of course. Let's see how this works out. Yes. Ooh, three. That is very close. Hmm. Can I get that to work? Is there a problem? Because then I can just block. Oh, no. uh, I can block Embla and Yoon, and uh, that should be that because I don't need the pots because it's the last match. Carve a path. Uh, three damage. I hmm. feel faint. Maybe if I uh, get one of these units over there because she is getting uh, the unity path. buff. So maybe that'll work. Here I go. Because hmm. this is an option. I can block right here and nothing can pass. But I really need that three damage. Hmm. What do I do here? Yes? And I don't want to do that because the traps... The traps are like so weirdly placed. So hot. Maybe I could leave Yoon for last. All right, we're just gonna commit here. Uh, let's reposition with Robin, and uh, let's see yes. what this. Ew, that's even worse. <laughs> oh my God, how is it even worse? Oh no. What? I'm supposed to do more damage, not less. Yes. Um. No, and I am getting drives from Peony from there too. Yeah, this is bad. 
I so yeah, um, now that we've done this, there's no way to uh, salvage this. So we pretty much lose from here. Um, yeah, we pretty much lose from here. Uh, so we're gonna probably just surrender here. Yes. Uh, that sucks. Hmm. Oh well. Alright, here's our second try of the day. We're taking on a rematch here against July C, uh, who has a uh, pretty well invested Gilliam. Uh, a lot of um, a lot of merges and some good skills on him as well. But uh, we're just gonna go in with the hit and run team here to uh, blow some stuff up. And um, yeah, pretty much just call it a day from there. Uh, look at this Gilliam, man. This Gilliam is so cracked, man. Look at this. Uh, he, he blocked it without changing the distance counter because he has a distance stance, which gives the plus four res. Um, so that's something. But uh, but yeah, um, about what I expected from a Gilliam this nice. <laughs> uh, ultimately, what I'm going to do is charge onto that trap there and um, attack from that like side with uh, what's her face here, Golvig, and then back out. Um, Choose your path. But yeah, uh, let me see how I set this up. Uh, because there is cancel control here in the form of that uh, legendary Robin. Us. So we don't want to necessarily get stuck there with Golvig because there's, the, well, one action to attack, second action to attack, third action is cancel. Uh, so we don't want her to get stuck on the defense style because we will need to be able to reposition out we'll and um what's his face here uh shez is only getting the or he's gonna be getting extra movement from his c skill uh the snap rain snap but that's only going to be as long as gilliam is alive because it's not it doesn't come into play if there aren't any um uh, infantry melee we'll or armored units on the field um, and once we take out Gilliam everything else is ranged uh, except for the dancer uh, so yeah it should be uh, should be fine from there uh, I just gotta figure out how to get up here and then uh, we'll back out and and take on the defense really? from there uh, I don't even really care about getting the extra bonus skill with uh, Azura because I mean we're all going to make tier 39. The defense has gotten, like, absolutely battered. So, I mean, it doesn't even matter. <laughs> it literally doesn't matter. I don't know, man. I I, I don't know what to do with, with Chaos Season. It's so weird. As always. Uh, you want to build a good defense that works, but also at the same time, it's so hard. There's so much to account for. Like, the only thing that I've seen that's actually been uh, successful is uh some rally traps but that's really just counting on the opponent not to notice that it's a rally trap but most days most players especially in the higher tiers once they realize that there's a healer or some type of dancer they'll kind of pick up that it's a, a dancer trap or a, a restore trap or a rally trap or whatever it is so it's really not gonna work out a lot of the times especially with mine being a rally trap uh once if the rally doesn't work well the whole thing kind of falls apart so uh yeah uh let's get going here choose your path okay let's test this trap we'll make a path. and all right nice uh let's set up for the next turn um because be i don't know I, I feel like it kind of messed up the positioning here Orders, so quickly. let's set up for next turn uh, we also got to be aware of the extra range that uh, Shells will get, as I was mentioning earlier. He's going to be able to move one more space, so let's stay right here. Uh, potentially, we can reposition up for Golveg to initiate, and then from there, um, we'll just get through the rest of the match. Uh, so yeah. Let's see here. I think the gravity trap might be a little bit annoying, but uh, we can get rid of it too. Not a whole lot here stopping us. There's gravity. Okay, so let's see here. It matters not. We don't necessarily have to like take him out, but because of the extra movement, I definitely want to get really? him get Gilliam off the board. 
um, just because of the extra movement that he provides. Uh -huh. There's so many options that I have here. How do I do this? <laughs> uh, let's see here. I don't back down. Okay. And ooh, wow. <laughs> And that's through her damage reduction. I guess she just doesn't have enough HP to lift the hit from Gillian. Uh, all right, well, there goes that idea. Uh, I guess she's eating the special, whatever his special is, probably Bonfire. So we can't initiate with Golveg, uh, which was the whole idea. We're going to use Golveg to take out Gillian and then Chez. Leave it to us. But that it doesn't seem like it's going to work. So let's break this we'll make a path. and... Um, Oh, probably should have broken the Go! tactics room instead. All right, we can break the tactics like room the next wind. turn and then figure it out from there because, uh, yeah. Hmm. Didn't expect Gilliam to be that bulky. Orders, quickly. Okay. So, uh -huh. all right, let's break the... This? Hmm. Then cancel one back. Reposition because we are in Shez's range. He has the what's that? Flared Sparrow, no? Yeah. Leave it to and us. then next turn we should be able to move with uh, Kagero. So we'll use Kagero to destroy Gilliam. I believe she should be able to do it. Um, especially with the feud skill. Really? Mm. She should be able to. We'll see though. I'm with you. <laughs> like the wind. Okay. We'll make a path. Nice. Okay, perfect. That's what we want to see. So we're gonna, yo, the, <laughs> oh my god, yo, this Gilliam is almost kills her. She has like damage reduction in a weapon, damage reduction in her A skill, damage reduction. Well, she could have damage reduction in her uh, C skill as well or B skill as well. I think I gave no, I, I don't have any extra copies of Brush Assault for. Um, but yeah, she has a lot of damage reduction and also the potential for more. So it's all coming in pretty clutch here. Um, that's allowing us to survive. Because I think she doesn't have guard uh, in her weapon, and I don't have guard on the seal. So um, she's not able to stop him from get him, getting his bonfire off. But because he's hidden with his special, uh, we, sh we are able to take him out. Because the first hit, I'm pretty sure, is not going to do a lot of damage. So let's see exactly what this looks like. Zero on the forecast, man. That's crazy. I'm here for you. Dance on the breeze. And the lethality to top it off. Yep, he's definitely gone. All right, man. So let's get out of here. Uh, we don't want to. Don't want to go in too deep here. Noka can't outspeed the chess. Although that's expected. That is uh a lot of investment on that chest there. Choose your path. Uh, so... How do I do this? Do I dance out? How do I... Back out here? Hmm. Oh, yeah. So, the... Order, mythic... Quickly. Yeah. Mythic banner dropped. Uh, so we are looking at Vale here as the newest mythic for Astra Season. Um, she looks like a really good unit. Um, very intrigued to see how she functions in game especially to see exactly how high her res is going to be because that's going to determine like how she works overall you can probably stack extra res on her and maybe she'll work well with phantom res to give her an extra plus 10 yeah so that's going to be an interesting matchup just to see but overall um i kind of wish it was a defense mythic I was wrong though, I was thinking that it would have been Kaversir, but, uh, you know, the girl that died from the story, but it wasn't her. 
Uh, so maybe he'll be on the next banner in, for the end of month in November, or they uh, they typically do two, because her and Golvig are really the only two units left from the book for you to get as uh, mythic legendary units. I think they've done everyone else except for the evil guy, and he died like a couple of chapters ago. Nobody really wants to see him get a legendary mythic version. He's kind of oh, oh, booty. Um, leaves a bad taste in your mouth uh, kind of guy. I don't like him. He's definitely He definitely fits the evil villain role really, really well. Um, but yeah, uh, I'm really excited to see how it pans out in terms of like uh, her use case. Although I don't think she'll stop Catria Balls, um, but she should work against the, the Claude problem. Maybe not. Hmm. Unless you have Guard, because that's really the strong part of Claude. Um, if he's not able to get his special up on the first combat, if you have Guard, then he won't be able to get the special up at all. At all. Or if you have Tempo, then he won't get the special up at all. So it's, I'm really intrigued to see how that pans out, that particular matchup. I think she, she'll be good in that sense. I think she'll be really good with um, uh, Omnitex. Uh, like uh, your That's Brave Dimitris, your uh, anyone that can run Godlike Reflexes, basically. Um, in conjunction with probably a Fall of Maria, uh, it should work out pretty well in your favor because she, you you won't die on the first combat. And I think she'll work particularly well with um, anyone that can that needs Fallen Maria support or that benefits we'll from Fallen Maria pass. support. Because typically what you want to do with anyone that has Fallen Mar Maria support is uh, be able to pierce damage reduction on the first hit uh, so that you can then take her out when her, her, that unit's HP is down to one. Uh, it'll be easier to get past the miracle from Fallen Maria because it doesn't trigger if there's only one HP. So, yeah. <laughs> it's a good um, way to make sure that you get the support from Fallen Maria because... If they don't get the special on the first hit, and they get it on the second hit, you pretty much guaranteed to get the Fallen Maria uh, Miracle support on the second hit, and um, basically live. I see. If you get what I'm saying. I don't know, did that make sense? <laughs> I'm, I'm basically saying, if you don't have Colorless Feud on your defense, you definitely need to get some type of Feud effect on your defense, because you're going to need it. Um, particularly colorless feud, I'd recommend. Blue feud, not so much, because uh -huh. at the end of the day, rest checks are really easy to beat, and as a, as a mythic, she That's might nice. not be Blue around all the time. Um, so there are going to be weeks where she's off, or something else, you want to run something else, I don't know. But if, if you get colorless feud, you don't have Let to worry about the Maria sight. support at all. And uh, you kind of are probably even red feud uh, just to stop God Swords. Um, really? Uh, probably, yeah, that's probably what I'd recommend. Uh, although red, red feud is only on like one unit, so mm, tough. But yeah, we're, we're done here. Um, as I said, I don't really care about the, the bonus bill. I mean, got wrecked on defense, so it doesn't even matter. So let's just get out of here. Golvig said the thing, and uh, that's chaos season. Looking forward for Astra. GG's.